Lights, camera, action. Lights, camera, action. So, so Penny, tell us a little bit. All right, you're 82. Yes. Tell us a little bit about your knees on how they felt, what you couldn't really do, and what the pain was. Oh, pain level in my left leg was getting very bad. Let's say like on a zero to 10 scale, how bad right was leg. the knee? At least an eight or nine. Pretty much all the time or just sometimes? Like uh, walking? When I was walking on walking, it, or trying to get out stairs. of bed, I didn't do stairs. Because it hurt you bad? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And in my left leg, it was not as bad, but it was getting bad. What kind of a number on this one? Oh, probably a four or five. Okay. So four or five, and then this one could get up pretty yeah, bad. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then last week, you came in and we did an injection into each knee. Each knee. Now, we don't look for big improvement for months, no. but in one week, what can you tell me about each knee, how they feel, and what's well, different? Well, this knee has no pain in it always. Zero. Zero. Zero pain, Zero. whereas before it was sometimes four or five. Four or five. Yeah, yeah, but I don't have any in it anymore. This one, I have no, no pain. It feels, you know, I have walked so funny on it for so long right. that I'm having, but Trouble just making so, it to walk right now a week later you're saying there's no pain in it mm -hmm. see now that's great um what about like when we was getting up off the adjusting table you said normally it would be hard yes to, to get to get out of bed you it's, can get out of bed now without no struggling with it no no problem man i'm loving this now obviously we're going to see more and longer term improvements as time goes on as this heals but in one week to have those kind of improvements makes me feel super excited. Yeah, me too. So, <laughs> me so too. 82 doesn't mean you got to be really old and 82 doesn't mean you got to be no. in pain and that you can't get around and be decrepit. At this point, we can say that we can make some things better. You can. Great. Great. You can. Wonderful. Do what? Can she stand up? Sure. Sure. Stand up. Show me show how you can move. Look at that. Look at that. I don't have any trouble with them at all. Yeah. Yeah. This was just a little stiff, but it's because I have been walking probably yeah. stiff-legged. Well, to, and to tell the audience, when we took x-rays of your knees, I mean, this one had massively bad arthritis. Right. I mean, it had big bone spurs, had, uh -huh. had thin cartilage. Right. I mean, it was noticeably on the x-ray, it looked Different. bad. Yeah. And even the good knee looked bad. Oh, this they were fine. saying they were saying really that your right knee really kind of needed like knee uh -huh. replacement, but they were a little afraid because oh, of yeah, your age. Yeah. So at this point, uh, yeah, it was bone. They, the doc, the medical doctor told me bone on bone, but there was still enough stuff in there to be build something on. Yeah, exactly, exactly. I mean, you were walking without a cane or a walk or anything. It just hurt like crazy. Yeah. And and the X ray looked bad. And yes. he said needed a knee replacement, but really didn't want to because of your age. Well, so we're I trying this. We're yes. going to try this. We're, we're going to see if this builds up. But it's so far in one week, we're already ahead of the game. We are. Cool. Just I out of curiosity, did you have a lot of swelling and stuff with your knees prior no. to? And so you still. Yeah, have... no, I didn't have no. Now it's it's it. Well, no, it's fine. Can I move? Can you move? Sure, it's fine. I mean, it just no you know. scars, no. No. Dunk, what do you do your needles and stuff when you get there? Right there. I yeah. somewhere you put the needle yeah. in. I don't know. The needle where. just goes into the front of the the spacing between the, yeah. the top bone, the bottom bone, right where the spacing is. So to go in right here and it fills up with And only one injection? One injection. On each knee. On yeah, each one knee. one in each knee. Mm -hmm. And usually you only have to do it one time. And uh and at the with the good knee, it didn't hurt at all. This one, I have to admit, it didn't hurt. A little sore to get the yeah. injection, but, yeah, but that took like, what, what, 30 seconds? It was over yeah. with. And, it's uh, done. Yeah, it's done. I just wanted it done. Doug, what is your follow-up like? So follow-up, we, we check her at one week, one month, three months, and six months. There's actually questionnaires that we go through because we're in a study with uh, one of the universities, I can't remember which one off the top of my head, where we turn in the, the questionnaires to just track how it's doing. We look for you know anything that could go wrong, make sure there's no signs of any infection, uh, make sure that pain is getting better instead of worse. So that's what we track with the outcomes as she comes through and release that data back to the university for the studies. Um, and usually on the other people that we've done, it's just, you see them just like her, get a little better, a little better, a little better until, you know, 
it maxes out probably at somewhere around six months and it's, you know, it's usually pretty good. Is she going to follow up with any type of rehabilitation or exercises? Or you know, most of the time don't even have to. This just gets better and it's not like a surgery where you got to go back and do six right. weeks of rehab. Mm -hmm. This this just starts getting better and gets better and it just heals on its own. Um, I mean, if somebody was, say, a little limited or having some residual pain, we could certainly do some rehab to try and uh, bolster that a little bit. But usually, don't even have to. It just heals up and gets better. So, thank you, Penny. You're very welcome. Thank you.